Okay, hello. This is uh, Inferiority Complex, and we're trying out the um, very, very early beta, uh, not even beta, sorry, the very, very early alpha of Umbra, or Umbra, however you pronounce that. It's a game that was uh, funded via Kickstarter, and uh, I missed the chance to, to, to provide a little bit of help to that myself. Uh, I like the look of the game, and I was able to kind of make a, a, a donation via the website, which is pretty cool because it lets me get access to the, uh, the the builds of the game, which are very, very early, so I can get to try it out. So there's not much happening in terms of a menu right now. Game settings, graphic settings, sound settings, controls. Um, these are all very basic settings at the moment. Screen resolution, that sort of thing. The controls are not exactly the most amazingly detailed um, keyboard mouse in vehicle. Change it to no and then everything flips off to the left. So there's, it's very, very rough and ready, but you'd expect that. This is actually version 0 0.2 of the game, so it's nowhere near um, what it'll be in the final um, thing. So we're going to have a look and see what this version of the game looks like. We're going to start a single player map. There's only one and we're going to leave it on easy difficulty just to see how things go. Help the devs. Hmm. No sign of a loading bar or anything like that. Something like that would be nice. A loading bar would always be nice to have. But we're not getting one. So we're left wondering how long the game is taking to load. We don't know, if we'll know when it's going to kick in. We don't know how much the progress is. Uh, all we have is this rather sort of depressing picture. It's very much like there's uh, a land in turmoil. Everything's kind of in ruins. There's shipwrecked ships there on the left. Uh, grim weather. The sky is very dark and grey and this foreboding entrance on the right hand side. It looks very doom laden. So I kind of wonder where the storyline for this game is going to go. Need to say we will of course put uh, a link to the website in the description, and if anyone wants to uh, have a look at the game website there, they can look it up and see what's going on. Now, I have no idea. Oh, hello. The cursor. I can't really change the angle of view, which is disappointing. It would be nice to see where exactly you're going. But the graphics on there are really quite impressive. So that's using the mouse scroll wheel to go forwards and backwards. And it's like he's able to attack the bridge. <laughs> so much though. Nope, he just walks on the bottom of the water. Very, very nice. Look at that. That tree gets out of the way when you come close to it. Guy 
here we're here with uh, exclamation mark above his head. Let's see, let's start this. What's this about? Skills many there. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. How do I activate them? How do I do things? Oh! That looks like a swirly like thing that would normally appear in some sort of MMO about going into a dungeon or an instance, depending on what you call them, depending on what game you play. No idea what's going to be happening down in this place. Wow. That is actually kind of cool. We'll look at our character for a minute. He's got a very sort of basic appearance in terms of skin tone and whatnot. But the shine on his armour and his equipment is pretty impressive. that sword instead of the one I have. Might be nicer. Oh, I like that shield more. Let's put on a helmet. Shoulder armor. better. I like how the inventory spaces are not all the same size. I mean there's obviously a grid and an array of space that you have available, but I like how different things take up different space. That's good. I've not seen that in a while. I'm trying to remember the last game where I saw that sort of thing. in controls, Is we, are we able to change the view? Yeah, keyboard and mouse. How do you change the view? Don't know, because it's over to the left. Can't see it. Weapon customization. Hello. Ah, I'm there. 
Okay, so let's resume the game. fire the magic spells in the direction I'm facing but I can't turn me or the camera to face anything. Maybe that's a limitation of the game as it stands right now. I don't know. We'll see how things go as the developers progress with this. Oh hello. Things to do. doing here. Just pretty much just guesswork. Alright, something else to be up. Well that was pretty easy. You just took one swipe. fun when there's actually more of an idea of what you're supposed to do with it. Because at the moment I am just, oh I see, you just run over it to pick it up. Spellcasting works now. Oh, excuse me. Spellcasting works in the direction of the mouse. That's why I couldn't seem to figure it out earlier on.
new stuff we have. We have uh, a new veil of the blade. Well, this cryptic sword looks like it's better than my current one, so I will take that. Swords? Yes, I can. Oh, wow. One of them's fire and one of them's, well, ice. I don't know. Um, not entirely sure. Chance to freeze target, and this one says. Burn target, yep, so I've got two different swords now, this could be much more interesting. Let's see what happens around here, oh, green, what's that, I don't know what green means. Hey, what was that? What's the new sword this time? It's a bit, just a basic blade. There's no fancy stuff happening this thing. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed. What's over here? This looks interesting. Anything of interest? This would be so much easier if I could rotate my view. Sword. Just a shock target. It's probably like electrical. Then we have gloves. Better gloves than the gloves I had, I think. Yes. Yep. Okay. Let's go on. Let's see what there is. This way. This is the way I already came. No, this is different. The graphics here are really gorgeous. 